All right, I've had some questions about the solar system setup that I've got. Um, when I was designing this uh, with the solar company, um, there was a couple things that I couldn't find when I was researching um, and through all the different research is extremely hard. Uh, one of them being whether you can run an ethernet cord. So I was gonna go over some of the basic stuff that I found. I'm not gonna go over a complete setup and all that because there are a lot of videos out there, um, but I will cover some of the basics. So this is your normal panel here. I have already unscrewed this so this can come out. We've got the consumption meters plugged in. You see they are coming out from down here, come across and up and plug in right here. Um, these are based upon the instruction manual from what it says. There's already a video out there to how to install this. Um, you do have an ethernet. You also have the Wi-Fi. I wanted Ethernet just for direct connection. Um, in the instruction, it does suggest to use a ferrule or a ferrite. I'm sorry. Um, it is basically a magnet, um, and that is the one that they suggested. Um, here is the box, and I will try to put up the information. Um, I just ended up buying it off of Amazon. And you see, it is up here um, to do that. Uh, follow in there. We'll show you the rest of the system the way this one's set up here is this is coming down from uh, Inside the wall and it pops out here connects in and then it's coming back out feeding your out Into your main switch the main switch then feeds this um, back into Well, it's not gonna let me open or uh, open it with it in the on position So let's go ahead and turn that off So there you go. As those wires come in from the bottom, they connect through fuses, and then you have your um, switch to actually turn them on to then feed it into the grid. So that's the outside setup. The main thing I was trying to go over was this part here. As you can tell, it is flashing right now because it has just gotten power back connected, um, and we'll let it boot up. All right, for where my system is at, um, this is the back side of where you're just at. So I've got the two wires coming in for the connection meters and they come through the two by four. I cut just a little hole here to access that through and then comes up the bottom right there. And those are gonna connect in. As you can see, the uh, arrow faces in the direction that goes to the load, so our panel system. Um, and that's how it's able to measure it. It does need to be on the downside of your incoming solar. So this is the incoming solar lines on this. Um, and the reason why these connect uh, red black and black to red is the black is normally as your line one and for whatever reason when this house was set up they put the line one as red so the installers kept the black wire as line one um, as most systems normally are and that's why the swap is on here all right and just some last minute stuff for you guys that are looking this is the one that i ended up doing off of ebay uh, this individual was pretty much the cheapest i could find it is a two pack and it is for the Enphase CT200 split uh, consumption monitoring. Uh, he did very fast shipping. I think I got it in like four days. Um, and basic quick install on that. So I did not get a picture or video of the initial screen. Um, you do get some extra um, selection parts consumed and imported. Um, obviously, I've only been doing this for just about a day now, so my selection is very minimal. Um, I have had to contact the customer service now um, three times, and I can go over some of what happened on that. Um, the first time, I do not have the installer kit, so I actually had to call them to have them install or turn on the in uh, consumption monitors. Um, with doing that, um, they turned it on remotely. I had to make sure they had it on the net setting for me because I have the uh, the monitors on the downward side of that. Um, actually, I just got off the phone with them a few minutes ago. So as you can see, this is exactly what it looked like yesterday, except for it started off with three, and then it went to seven, and then like nine, and 12, and 10. And as you can see, it's showing an error on them. Um, when I spoke with customer service, um, they really couldn't figure out why to begin with. And then they were able to tell me that that popped up because there was showing a low or high voltage because we had turned the system off and then back on. Um, that's what caused that. 
Um, they told me just wait. It took about three hours and those did disappear. But the weird part is they did start at a very low amount and then slowly feed up, adding in between three and six each time until it got to all of my microinverters. So I'm not going to mess with that right now because obviously it is still reporting all 24 because we just did this within the last 20 minutes. That was the second time that I had to call them back. The first time was turning on the meter. Um, the third time today, um, about midway through the day, so about 24 hours after my uh, monitoring went live, is when I got an alert. And instead of it being down here in the microinverters, it was an error up here on my gateway. And it, uh, when I clicked on it, it said that the issue was, and I can see if I can get the exact wording, but consum a gateway consumption monitor meter. Um, I ended up on the phone with one of their uh, tech supports, which it was a Saturday, so I'm glad they were open. The initial guy just basically told me to call a tech company, um, have them come out, and I wasn't willing to do that part because this is something I installed myself, so I knew they were going to charge me. He put me on the phone with the advanced tech support, and in speaking with him, he was able to narrow down that the reason I was receiving that error um, was last night at nine, between 9 and 9.15. Um, there was basically an energy spike in consumption and it actually showed that it went the wrong direction um, or a, a spike. So when I was able to go back um, to right here, you can actually see where that occurred at. And luckily I have one of the indoor ring cameras in the kitchen. And oddly enough, I uh, turned my washing uh, machine on for the dishes on the dishwasher right at about 9.03, which I believe that that um, peak is actually what caused it. He said that that air would have gone off after approximately uh, 24 hours, but with him on the phone, he was able to turn that setting off because he was able to confirm that all my wiring was correct by the pictures I sent him. And from there, he said I should not receive any more errors on that type of notification um, because he has fixed it. But that is something to keep your mind uh, on when installing these is you will have some weird issues that might arise. And sometimes all you gotta do is call their tech support. I've called them three times now and every time, every person I've dealt with has been pretty good um, and responsive on it. Like I said, the only one was the first one today. He was kind of more just telling me to call, you know, an installer out. Um, when I told him I installed that part of it myself, he was still strongly suggested that was the best decision to do. But obviously I did not wanna pay those fees for something I didn't believe was wrong. And it's a good thing I didn't because it ended up being their mistake, not mine. Um, and it's not really a mistake. It's more of consumption meter on their side that was causing that for their software. So this is the first day I installed it. Um, this was yesterday. Uh, one weird thing you will see when you first turn these on is all of this uh, gray in the background is showing the electricity that was fed back. Um, but they weren't because it just believes that because that's what was you know the leftover same thing with right here the meters weren't actually on on either of these two days so it just believes that the um electricity all went back and i'll come down onto the, the day here for yesterday and you can see right here where all this has no orange on it this is prior to the consumption meter being plugged in, and this is after the consumption meter was put on. Um, so it just automatically assumes that all of this over here got fed back to the, the circuit, which it didn't. And I'm gonna show you just a couple photos from my install. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.